at a couple different methods of subtracting integers with algebra tiles. The first we're going to look at is adding zero pairs. So let's look at the problem. Positive three minus positive four. Now, if I wanted to take away positive four from this, I don't have enough tiles in order to be able to do that. So what I could do is to add a zero pair. Now, remember this means zero because positive one and negative one together make zero. So the value here is still three, even though we have four positive tiles because we have that negative tile that cancels one of those positive tiles out. So this is three and this is also three. But if we wanted to take positive four away from three, we now are able to do so. We can remove one, two, three, four positive tiles, and we are left with negative one. Let's look at another example. Let's do negative two minus positive three. I wanted to subtract positive three from here, I don't have anything. So I need to add in zero pairs. So the value here is still negative two. And it's still negative two. And still negative two, I just added in three zero pairs. So I still have negative two here, and I'm now able to take away one, two, three positive tiles to find that negative two minus positive three is equal to negative five. Another method of subtracting integers using algebra tiles is to add the opposite. For this example, I suggest that you make a small tile that you can use which has an addition sign on one side and a subtraction sign on the other side. So our original problem was 3 minus 4. Now the ability to change subtraction problems to addition in when working with integers is extremely useful and it's important to think about the reasons why. Let's imagine this as three degrees. Let's say it's three degrees outside and then we're subtracting four degrees. The temperature is going to drop by four degrees. Now subtracting four degrees is the same thing as adding negative four degrees. Once we've changed this to addition and changed the sign of our second number, we're able to remove the sign and create zero pairs. Remove our zero pairs and we are left with negative one. Let's look at our second example. Negative two minus positive three. Let's again think about our temperature scenario. If it was negative two degrees outside, hope you're wearing a jacket, and we wanted to subtract three degrees from that, the temperature dropped by three degrees, that would be the same thing as adding negative three degrees. And once we've changed our sign to addition, we can remove our sign and combine negative two with negative three to make negative five. 